Hello, this is Dennis. I've been involved with a lot of amazing technologies throughout my career. I'd like to introduce you to one such science. That technology is Atlantium's Hydro Optic Disinfection Technology, or the HODUV. The HODUV is revolutionary science for disinfection and dechlorination and disinfection applications. The HODUV is modular in concept. It has a hydro optic section followed by a lamp, then another hydro optic section. We can bundle multiple sections together to create a higher dose or put more energy into the chamber. Allow me to explain the difference between an HODUV and all the other traditional UV technologies. As you can see on the screen, this system looks like a traditional UV science. Let me tear it apart for you so you can see the difference. This is a stainless steel chamber and water flows on through. The success of the HODUV is the sum of three sciences. The first science uses a medium pressure lamp. The medium pressure lamp puts out the correct germicidal spectrum. The second science is the hydrooptic chamber. The hydrooptic chamber is a quartz tube lined inside of the stainless steel chamber with an air block. The primary difference is the quartz tube acts like a fiber optic science and bounces the light throughout the entire chamber, essentially recycling it throughout the chamber. Without it, metal adsorbs dose. The dose coming off the lamp is quickly absorbed by the metal, leaving many pathways around the lamp that are not properly treated or disinfected. When the hydrooptic sec section is on both sides of the lamp, there's no way that the organism could pass the lamp without getting hit by that dose or getting hit by that dose multiple times. This slide represents the internal reflection, just simply mimicking fiber optic science, passing the light down the entire chamber, increasing its wavelength. The third science is an algorithm tied into logic and the controls with two sensors per lamp. The first sensor measures the direct measurement of the UV lamp efficiency. As you turn on the lamp, it slowly degrades over time. Essentially, as it degrades, it may no longer put out the desired dose required to treat, to effectively treat. The UV lamp efficiency sensor measures the, de the degrading lamp, and as it degrades, it turns into an algorithm, and the algorithm then says, pump more energy into the lamp, increasing its brightness. Like a horse with blinders, it maintains the desired dose even as the lamp degrades. The second sensor is a built-in monitor for UV transmittance of the water. Let's share an example. Let's say a storm kicks up. The turbidity increases in the water. As the turbidity increases, the UVT of the water decreases. As the UVT decreases, it turns into the algorithm and the algorithm starts pumping more energy into the lamp. Again, like a horse with blinders, it needs to maintain the desired dose to, for effective treatment. As the storm clears up, the turbidity goes down and the UVT increases. As the UVT increases, the algorithm then takes the energy out of the lamp because it's no longer required to maintain that desired dose. Finally, the system is tied into an external flow meter. As the flow increases, the algorithm pumps energy into the lamp, again, to maintain the, the needed dose. And as the flow decreases, the algorithm takes energy out of the lamp as it no longer needs the energy for that dose. And in this final slide, this is a picture of the control panel of the HODUV. The system has two sensors on every lamp. In this example here, there are eight lamps. The algorithm of the system will monitor the energy, the UVT, and the flow, and go against the actual delivered dose within the system, and that'll be measured against the required validated dose needed to disinfect. Hey, thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed my video.